everyone, and thank you so much for joining me in this video. Welcome back, and if you're new here, welcome. My name is Quinn, and today I want to test out a Spanish potatoes recipe that I found on YouTube. Now, this recipe is called the best ever Spanish potatoes, or patatas a la importancia recipe. Um, and it comes from the YouTube channel and blog, Spain on a Fork. Now I came across this video uh, a few weeks ago and it looked absolutely delicious. Normally I try to find entrees to try for this channel, but um, I realized that I also don't have a lot of side dishes in my recipes that I've tried before. So I guess it's a good thing for me to try out different ways to prepare side dishes because I kind of just go back to the same ones over and over again. So that was why I decided to try this recipe for this video. Also, you know, it's a Spanish potatoes recipe. So it's got a little bit of the international concept that I really like as well. And it's a chance for me to try out a different dish from a different country. So with that said, I'm going to go ahead and try to follow this recipe like he did on his YouTube channel and uh, see if this is a recipe that I will be going back to in the future if I'm ever in the need for side dishes. Anyways, today we have another great episode. We are making the best ever Spanish potatoes, patatas a la importancia. I'm gonna begin by rinsing two medium-sized Yukon Go potatoes and cut each potato into rounds that are about a quarter inch thick. For the next step, I'm gonna crack two organic eggs into a bowl, season the eggs with sea salt, and freshly cracked black pepper. And I'm gonna whisk the eggs together until they're perfectly combined. In a separate bowl, I'm gonna add in a quarter cup of all-purpose flour, and once again, season it with sea salt and black pepper. And I'm gonna give it a quick mix, that way everything's evenly divided. For the final step, let's coat our slices of potato, begin with the all-purpose flour mixture, and then into the egg wash. And continue to do this until all your potatoes are coated. I'm gonna be using a large frying pan. I'm gonna heat this with a medium heat and add in one third cup of extra virgin olive oil. After heating the olive oil for two minutes, I'm gonna start adding the slices of potato in there. You want them to be in a single layer, so cook these in batches, that way you don't overcrowd the pan. After two and a half to three minutes, I'm gonna start flipping the potatoes to cook the other side. And look at that beautiful light golden color. That's exactly what these potatoes are supposed to look like. Now using the same pan with the same heat, I'm gonna add in half of an onion that I finely diced and three cloves of garlic that I finely minced. And start mixing those garlics and those onions with that extra virgin olive oil. You do wanna mix this continuously, that way nothing burns and everything cooks evenly. After about three minutes and those onions are nice and translucent, I'm gonna add in one tablespoon of cornstarch and a generous half teaspoon of sweet smoked Spanish paprika. And start mixing these ingredients together until they're well combined. Once all these ingredients are well mixed, I'm gonna add in half a cup of white wine and lightly season with a little sea salt and some freshly cracked black pepper. And I'm gonna mix all these ingredients together until they're well combined and we end up with a thick sauce. About one minute later and I end up with this beautiful thick sauce, I'm gonna start adding the potatoes back into the pan. At this point, they don't have to be in a single layer. You can stack them around each other. I'm gonna pour in some vegetable broth into the pan, enough to cover the potatoes. In my case, it's exactly three cups of vegetable broth. And hit this from a medium heat to a medium high heat. And at this point, you don't have to mix this around anymore. Just let it naturally do its thing, but I do recommend that you give the pan a quick shake once in a while, that way all the ingredients are evenly divided. After about 25 minutes, and there's virtually no broth left in the pan, you've ended up with this beautiful thick sauce, and all that broth has been absorbed by those potatoes. This dish is ready to go, and I'm gonna serve these patatas a la importancia directly out of the pan, garnished with some freshly chopped parsley. Guys, look how beautiful this turned out. I'm gonna give it a try, and let you know how it turned out. All right, so I have the Spanish potatoes in front of me, and you guys, it actually looks and smells really good. Um, one thing that I did notice is that it was a little bit oily and I think that is just my fault because he didn't say how much oil to put in the pan before um, making the sauce. I kind of just, 
eyeballed it and because you're only adding like one tablespoon of cornstarch in to absorb the oil I think that I had way too much oil and because the oil to cornstarch ratio was so off and um, it made it a lot oilier than what he had in his video so I think that's just kind of one thing that I did notice but I don't think that it's going to change the taste of it that much but anyway let's go ahead and give this a try and see how these potatoes taste I will say the presentation is just it's beautiful it's so stunning it looks so appetizing and like mouth-watering here we go cheers mmm mmm there is a lot of flavor in there you can taste the wine still there's a little bit of um, like a bright acidic flavor from the wine that really balances out really well otherwise I feel like it would be a little bit too um, rich one thing I do want to say is that my potatoes are a little bit on the hard side I could have cooked this for a little bit longer and I think the reason being is because I used a bigger pan than he did I thought that if I used a bigger pan like my potatoes wouldn't be crowded but because of my pan size when I poured the broth to cover the potatoes it like reduced a lot faster and so it didn't cook as long as it should have and that's probably why my potatoes aren't as soft as they should be so that's kind of something to keep in mind if you do try this recipe but i think if the potatoes were a little bit softer it would be like a home run but again that's probably my fault for choosing a pan size that's a little bit bigger than what he was using in his video i really do like the kind of skin on the outside of these potatoes it almost kind of feels a little bit heartier than regular potatoes because it does kind of have the skin and the that layer on the outside does absorb that broth or like that gravy really well adding so much more to the flavor which i really like i think that this could use a little bit more salt but with salt and pepper it's kind of to personal taste i didn't want it to be too salty because you could always add more salt then take it away. So I kind of was a little bit more cautious when seasoning these potatoes with salt and pepper, but it's honestly not bad. I think just a little bit more salt would be like perfect. Really like the parsley on top. It really adds a little bit of uh, freshness to it. And the potatoes are just really good. I, I love the presentation. I love the way that these potatoes um, are served. And I think that they're just really fun. It's almost kind of like an entree on its own. It's just very elegant, very like, it looks like you spent a lot of time in the, on these potatoes. So I'm gonna have another bite. <laughs> mm. So good. This almost kind of reminds me of like potatoes au gratin, but a little bit fancier, a little less rich, and um, just as delicious, I think. I just think it depends on what you serve this with. But overall, I'm pretty happy with this. So like I mentioned, I would make just a few tweaks in the future, cooking it for a little bit longer so the potatoes are a little bit um, more tender and then adding a little bit more salt. But other than that, this recipe was really, really good and I'm very impressed with it. I will be making it again in the future, especially if I have like a dinner party or anything like that because I think that this presents so, so beautifully and so, so well. Um, anyway, you guys, that is pretty much it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Have you guys tried Spanish potatoes? If you have, let me know what your thoughts are or do you have a Spanish potatoes recipe that you like to make and if you do i would love to know all about your recipe in the comment section below as well please give this video a like if you enjoyed it and if you haven't done so already be sure to click on that subscribe button right there and hit that bell notification so you can see more videos like this i hope to see you in the next video bye